everyone welcome to coding decoded my name is sanjay today i am working as technical architect as the for at adobe and i welcome you all to the most consistent channel for solving daily lead code problems and lead code weekly contest the problem that i have chosen is minimum deletions to make an array divisible that came in today's contest lead code contest 302 and it's a hard level question on lead code however i don't feel the same here in this question you are given true arrays one is nums array and nums divide array what you need to identify you need to identify the number of deletions that should be done such that the smallest element in the nums array divides all the elements of nums divide array and in case it is not possible what do we need to return we need to return minus 1 in those cases so here they have provided us with an example wherein the nums array is 2 3 2 4 3 and nums divide is something like this I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it. Why the presentation? So let's quickly hop onto it. Minimum deletions to make array divisible. Lead code two three four four. It's a hard level question on lead code. However, I don't feel the same. I feel this is a medium level problem. And to make you feel the same, uh, let's try and explore the question by an example. And also, in case you have any doubt understanding this question, or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated below. Now let's get started with understanding the example. And the biggest hint that was specified in the question is to identify that particular element which divides all the elements of nums divide array. And let's take the same example. So if I ask you guys what that element would be, that element would be either a factor of the GCD of all the elements of nums divide or the GCD itself. So in the first go, we have to identify that what the maximum element that divides. All the elements that are present in nums divide array, and that would be nothing but the GCD of the entire array. So let's try and identify the GCD of nine and six first. The nine and six GCD comes out to be three. Then let's identify the GCD of nine and three. It turns out to be three. Three and three, it turns out to be three. Three and fifteen, it again turns out to be three. So we have successfully identified the GCD of the nums divide array, which is three. The answer, the smallest number that divides all the elements. Could be either three or a factor of three. In this case, it would be three itself. So what we would be, what we should do, we should divide, we should delete all the elements that are there in my nums array lower than three. So how many elements are there lower than three? There are two such elements, and therefore, uh, two deletions are needed, because after delete, after deleting both the twos, the smallest number that exists in the array would be three, and this three number divides all the elements of num divide array. Now let's take a slightly different example so that you get a good hold of the concept. We have the nums divide array as six, eighteen, fifty-four, twenty-four, and in the first go, what we are going to do, we'll identify the GCD of the entire array. GCD of six and eighteen turns out to be six. GCD of six and fifty-four turns out to be six. GCD of six and twenty-four turns out to be six. So the GCD of the entire array is six. In the next go, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort these element up. So after the sorting operation, the elements would be lined in this fashion: three, five, and six. And we will be iterating one by one. So we check whether three divides the GCD of the entire array that we have identified. Three completely divides the GCD of the entire array. As a result of which, no deletion is needed in this array because the smallest number divides all the elements of. A nums divide array. We were able to identify it by virtue of identifying the GCD, and we checked whether GCD is divisible by three or not. Since it was divisible, it's a happy case. No deletion is needed. Had it been the case, instead of three, we would have five. Then what we would have done? We have we would have checked whether five divides six or not. Five doesn't divide six. Let's proceed ahead. Next again, we check five divides six or not. Five doesn't divide six. Again, let's proceed ahead. Next, we check six divides six or not. Yes, six divides six. That means two deletions are needed in this entire array, in such that the whatever remaining elements are there, the smallest of those remaining elements completely divides all the elements of nums divide array. And uh, the answer would, in this case, five five six would have been two. I hope you got the context. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation and conclude it up. So in the first go, I have created a helper method that basically identifies the GCD across the nums divide array. So here I've taken the GCD variable initialized to nums dot zeroth index. I iterate over all the elements starting from one up till nums divide dot length, 
and I identify the GCD that occurs across all the elements in this entire array. Once I have that GCD value, what do I do? I sort the nums array that I have and I start from the lowest value after the sorting operation is done. Start from smallest to largest and uh, what do we do? We, we iterate over the sorted array and we check if my current element divides uh, the GCD. If that divides, then we simply return that ith index because all the elements prior to the ith index should be deleted. Once we are done with this for loop, we simply return minus one in those cases. Let's try this up. Accepted. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. And in case if you are interested in more solutions of the weekly contest 302, all of them are stated in the description below. So do check them out. Thank you.